Hi everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance, second ears. How many times have we walked out in these fields here in the past two, three weeks and said, hey, there's two ears on these, on these plants. Man, potential looks great. Let's see what can happen. Most guys have talked about that. Like I said, let's give it some time because if resources get limiting, if conditions get bad, that plant's gonna abort that bottom ear, keep the top one here. So just out in the field today, checking, checking conditions, want to let you know what I'm seeing here. This is the second ear. This is the second ear. I mean, good news, bad news. These are 18 round ears. I mean, 35 pollinated long, 38 on this one. Did well. Unfortunately though, the hot weather we had the previous week here, 10 days, two weeks ago, I think kind of did these in. The plant didn't have the energy it needed, so therefore it stopped filling these and aborted back the whole ear. Um, but man, if we could have just got a little more sunlight, a little bit cooler temperatures to keep those around, um, we might have had something here. But even down here on the end, you can kind of see, uh, throw it here. Those maybe haven't started just yet, but these don't have the same bright yellow color that the first year does. So I think we're probably about done with these secondary years. Nice thing is the plant has this resource, so it can pull the energy out of these ears to push back up to the primary ear. So fingers crossed we still have good potential in the field for the, for the uh, primary ear, but two ears, at least in this situation, probably not gonna keep two ears on the plant. As you're out checking fields, if you're finding something different, please let me know. Love to talk to you about that and see what we're seeing out there. Um, if there's spots that are keeping two ears, man, that can be really good yields. So hope that helps. Keep in touch.